So my name's Dawn um, Freshner, and I am a trainer here at the Renaissance. I've been here since we opened. And about eight weeks ago, we started our pilot program of the FIT program. It stands for Functional Integrated Team Training. We started off with 19 people in our first group, and that's some of us right there, just at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the thing. So I'm going to kind of give you a little rundown of everything. You've got to listen to me for tell you all about it before we do the raffle. So I know, bummer, huh? You want the raffle, you'd be like, peace out. So you got to listen to me first. So anyways, FIT, it is a methodically constructed physical training program for eight weeks. It has a comprehensive nutrition plan as part of it as well. It is not boot camp with Don four days a week. A lot of people kind of got the impression that they were just going to be coming and doing Don's class four days a week. It's completely not that at all. This is a program. It's eight weeks long. It's been systematically designed to work you guys through all the steps of physical training. We start from the ground up, stabilization training, endurance training, strength training, and then as it advances into the second phase of the program, which I'll get into a little bit later, we do plyometric training power training and hypertrophy training for lean muscle mass because the whole goal of the program is not just it's not just about fat loss it's about building lean muscle mass is it cold in here i'm sorry because you you worked out huh you get all sweaty and then you get wet so so i'm going to kind of go through functional integrated team training what all of that means so here we go functional training let's see Functional exercise require you to recruit multiple muscles while activating your core stabilize, uh, stabilizer muscles simultaneously. They focus on becoming more adept at doing real-life activities in real-life positions. They're more neurologically demanding. They improve muscular endurance, overall strength coordinate, coordination, balance, posture, and agility. So functional exercise, it's kind of like a buzzword you hear a lot about. Um, for example, so you go to the gym, you're going to do like a seated back row. You sit down on a bench and you got a pad in front of you, and you grab the handles, and you pull back right here, right? So you're working your back muscles, obviously, but you're sitting in a chair, and you've got your chest pressed up against here, so it's stabilizing you. So you're working your back, but that's kind of all about your, that's all you're working. So when we're doing this kind of training, when we're doing functional training, we're going to get down on the ground, not on the ground, but we're going to squat and row simultaneously. So you kind of see a difference there. We're working our legs, we're working our glutes, our hamstrings, our quads, our core is activated, and we're working our back and our rear delts at the same time because we're doing all of this at one time instead of just sitting on, hey you, just sitting in a chair pulling back on the machine. So a lot of functional exercises. We also do strength training that's just strength training, but it's a lot of functional exercises that are involved in that as well. Integrated training, there it is. Think cross training. So this program is all about cross training and doing different things. We meet four days a week and every day is a different exercise, it's a different routine. We do different things. One day we do interval training, one day we do circuit training, another day, two of the days, they're different, but we do half strength and half running. One day we run sprints and one day we run the hill. We run Enterprise and work that lower bank of stairs down there. So every day you're doing something completely different. Hey, CJ. So integrated training, why do we do it? Alternating, well, it's alternating workouts to improve your performance and overall fitness without overtraining and stressing your body. People that run every day, do you know people that run every day and that's all they do? And they do no strength training? They're getting hurt all the time, right? They're working in one plane of motion. They don't do anything else and they're overstressing their body because they're constantly just pounding, pounding, pounding. So you see that with a lot of endurance athletes, sorry if you're an endurance athlete, because they work in that one plane of motion and then they bike and then they run and then they, you know, do that same thing. So this is why we do integrated training. We, we want to switch it up on you. So, um, circuit training and interval training will incorporate strength and endurance, um, stabilization, speed and agility training. Those are two of the days. And then the other days are the cardiorespiratory and resistance training. They'll involve running. Like I said, we go off property for that. Um, so you have to sign a waiver. And uh, resistance training, and that's, that changes as we progress through the program, the resistance training does. So we start off like sup with supersets and vertical loading. And then as we get into the second phase of the program, we move into isolated muscle training. So that kind of changes as we progress and you guys get stronger. Team training. All right, team training. There we go. So team, this is where the magic happens, teen training, and not like um, MTV Cribs magic. <laughs> not that kind of magic. It's a different kind of magic. Um, you know, 
we meet in a small group setting four days a week for eight weeks. It is coming together as a community to work together. You know, group fitness, I love group fitness and I love the power of that because you all kind of get together and it's more fun. But when you're in a smaller group like this, when you're in a small group of people, you guys bond and there's, a there's like a power to that in that accountability and you're all working together and you're motivating each other and you're encouraging each other. And especially because the nutrition component part of this is part of it. I can't tell you, I mean, I've been here since the club opened almost seven years ago. I can't tell you how many people I know that go to see Chuck. He's our registered dietitian and, you know, they pay for the program, they get the nutrition plan and they don't do it because there's no accountability. They go, they'll do it for a couple weeks, you know, and then they just kind of give up on it because it's hard. It's not easy. But when you're working with a group of people and you're all in this together, what a difference it makes. And at the end of this, I'm going to have a few people come up and kind of tell you what a difference that made to work in a group together. That makes all the difference in the world, not just with the workouts, but with the nutrition too, because you know, we're, we're encouraging each other, we're supporting each other, we're kind of all in the same boat. And we've got a Facebook, a private Facebook page where we all communicate as well. So we're on there every, that's how we communicate mostly. We're on there every day, we're talking to each other, we're swapping ideas, we're miser commiserating together. That's how I communicate with you as well. Because when we're out there, we only have one hour together. And so in that one hour, I've got to get as much training in as I can. I don't have time. I don't have 10 minutes to be explaining to you what we're going to be working out, what we're going to be doing that day. So the night before, I'm on there telling you, all right, tomorrow, this is what you're going to do. Set up, get your heavy weights, be on the turf. We're going to do this. And I kind of, if we're running, all right, remember, we're running sprints. This is what I need you to do when you run and then you recover. And I kind of give you all of that beforehand so you know what you have to look forward to. It's obviously imperative you want to be successful in this program you've got to do the nutrition component. I mean, they say nutrition is 80% of your success. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian, but 80% is a really big number. That's a big number, so we have to pay attention to that. If, you know, the workouts, I gotcha. I gotcha for an hour a day, four days a week, I'm gonna make you work hard. You know, we'll, we'll address your needs and your issues and everything, but you're gonna work out hard, but this, this is what you gotta do on your own. I can't be at home with you. I can't be putting the food in your mouth. You've got to, you've got to be able to say, okay, I'm gonna do this. I want it to work. I'm, to be successful, you have to do it. So the nutrition um, component was designed by our staff, which is actually Chuck Rudolph, who's our registered dietitian. Um, it's the blood sugar stabilization plan. If any of you have done it before, it is incredible. I mean, it's so dialed out. There's no way if you follow it to a T, you will not see results. You will see results if you, if you do it. So this is where the, the fat loss is gonna come in, right? Because if your blood sugar levels are stabilized and you're eating the right way, you cannot store fat. Like that's a pretty big thing to say, right? When he, I mean, when I first learned that, I was like, really? It's like, absolutely. And that's Chuck, absolutely, yeah. You didn't know that? What, you didn't know? Everybody knows that. Like, no, they don't. Not everybody knows that, but that's sick. That if your blood sugar levels are stabilized, you can't store fat. So we're gonna teach you how to stabilize your blood sugar levels throughout the day so you're not storing fat. So it's not just about overeating, because that's some people's problem. They overeat, and then when you overeat, obviously you know you store fat. Guess what else happens? When else you store fat is when you starve yourself when you don't eat at the right times. And that, I'm like so guilty of that right now because I'm a mom and I have three little kids and I will go six and seven and eight hours sometimes and I will not eat. I won't even take care of myself. And Chuck's like, well, that's stupid. You're just storing fat. I'm like, well, I know, but I'm busy. He's like, well, you can't do that. You know, you can't do that. You have to feed yourself. You have to fuel your body. So that is, you know, what this part of it's all about. So. When you join, you're gonna receive a meal plan. It's based on your gender and your weight. It, it's very dialed out. There's no confusion about it. You're not gonna wonder what you have to eat, when you have to eat. You're gonna have five meals a day. It's gonna be broken down exactly how much protein, carbs, and by carbs, mostly fruits and vegetables, a little bit of starches, and healthy fat you're gonna have at every meal. So you're gonna be able to plug in what you want and what you like. I don't eat red meat, so I'm eating chicken and fish and stuff like that. So you'll be able to plug in what you want to eat, but you're gonna know exactly what to eat, and when to eat, and you're gonna do it the right way. So, um, and then, so, so part of it also comes in, so you're like 80%, that's still a big number, but it's because to be eating, if, 
you need to be eating right, not just to lose body fat, obviously, but for your body to be nourished so your muscles can grow. And that was another thing. I was like, okay, I'm at the gym all the time. Why am I at the gym all the time? I'm always working out, but I really, my body's not changing a lot either. If you're not giving your body enough protein, your muscles can't grow. They just can't do it. If the protein, it's your fuel. And if you don't have that fuel in your body, your muscles will never grow. And that's what we want to do. We want to build lean muscle mass because the more lean muscle mass you build, the more fat you burn. And you want to be burning fat all the time. 